Well, it's been a long time coming for the Vanderbilt Commodores, the last time they cut down the nest to win the SEC tourney. How about the year? 1951, before most of these guys' grandparents were born. Well, it's deja vu 61 years later. In 1951, they beat Kentucky. In 2012, they beat Kentucky, ending this game with a lot of clutch shots on a 9-2 run, giving Vandy its second SEC tourney title in school history. I just couldn't be prouder of these guys. It, it's, it's to their credit. They deserve all the credit, and um, uh, and I, I'm I'm most happy for them and for our fans that have waited a long time to see see us win a an SEC tournament championship. That was a hard-fought game, and uh, I thought Vanderbilt played very well down the stretch. We had our chances, we had our shots, we didn't make them, um, and uh, you know you got to give them credit. They they that game was over, and then all of a sudden it's like basket, basket, basket. It's anybody's ball game. And they played down the stretch well. Hats off to them. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, we've been in, in these situations before. We, we played a really tough uh, non-conference schedule. We went away and played road games in front of huge crowds. So uh, when Kentucky made a run, they made a couple of runs in the game. We just, we just kept our poise and we battled back and we made key plays down the stretch. Basketball is a huge game of runs and we knew they were going to make their runs for sure. Uh, our thing was just to stay poised and that's what we did down the stretch. They've done things today is just another thing, but they've done things uh, for Vanderbilt basketball that have never been done before. And they've raised uh, the awareness of our program, they've raised the status of our program, uh, they've made us relevant on a national level. So a big Sunday here in New Orleans for the Vanderbilt Commodores where they're quite the streak busters as well. They give John Calipari his first ever SEC tournament loss in the SEC. Now Calipari's Cats will be a top seed in the big dance where he hopes this isn't his last game in New Orleans. Yeah, if his Cats keep winning, they'll wind up in the Final Four across the street in three weeks. That's a story here in the New Orleans Arena. I'm Mike Neighbors for CST.